Hey, um, so today I wanted to show you um, a harmonization method that uh, Slonemsky mentions in his in uh, his book, Thesaurus of Scales and Melodic Patterns. Um, he calls it the octave tertian quenching way of doing things. We could say octave. Is that right? Mm hmm. Tertian. That is octave tertian quenching, and uh, it's it's a it's a great way of of you know just easily coming up with uh, with harmonizations for things. Just a just a quick way of putting something up there and see if it sounds good. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Um, so I've come up with a twelve tone row here, and uh, and let's do every one this time. So the first is going to be octave, so we're going to harmonize it with just C. Let's, let's, let's say C is the bass, and this C is an octave above it. Um, this is the third, tertian. This would be the fifth, clenching. And, and then we repeat octave, tertian. E flat is the third, let's say, of B. Um, G flat is the fifth of B. Um, and then back to octave, E is the third, A is the fifth of D, back to octave, B, D is the third of B flat. And we're, we're just doing major thirds right now, um, perfect fifths and, and octaves. Uh, so we've got a third and we've got a fifth. So that's that's that. It's just a just a quick way of going about it. We can listen to see what it sounds like. Um. So you can do this with anything, any line you come up with. Um, just just poke them in there, um, see what it sounds like, and it's a it's a good uh, it's a great little point of departure, a place to start with, and uh, you can uh, you can adjust things. It's not a it's it's by no means a rule. So I can right you can find that this one doesn't sound good, that one doesn't sound good, change things. Um, but yeah, it's a nice little springboard. So give that a try.